What's up everybody, my name is Dan On, and welcome to Honestly. Today we're checking out the headrest for the Herman Miller Aeron, which a lot of you guys asked me about in my previous video, which you can find linked here. And unlike that video guys, we're not gonna have any mic issues today. If you guys stick around, I'll show you guys how you can enter a giveaway to win this colored, that this is the mineral colored headrest. Not this one, this one's mine. I've got a brand new one ready to go over there. Um, but let's say you don't want the mineral color one or you don't win or you just don't wanna wait. Well, you guys can use the code HONESTLY10 at checkout over at engineernow.com and get yourself 10% off. Let's get honest. So I'll be honest, when you guys asked me to review this, I was kind of like, why? Because I've never needed any kind of neck or head support on my Aeron. I, I was fine without it. But I picked one up because you guys asked me to review it and now that I have it, I really, really, really like it and I don't think that I could go back to not having it. And this video is not sponsored in any way, um, but the reason why I like it so much is because of the way Engineered Now designed this thing. So it's really simple to install. All you have to do is that this thing is loose, like it's, no, it's normally loose and, it's, and it hangs out. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put it here and slide it in until you're in the middle. I don't recommend you do that because I think you could scratch your plastic. So instead what I would do is I would get it closer into the middle and then gently move it over. And then you're supposed to take a bolt that comes with it and then you're supposed to put it in here. This is a little tricky because you can't actually see the bolt. You just gotta feel around for it and then you just tighten the bolt. Um, they did a great thing here. They left a, an opening here so that you could see the, the Herman Miller chair has a bolt right in the middle of the, the, uh, the back mesh here or the back seat up here. So you can figure out where the middle of the chair is. You can line it up there and then you can tighten it really easily. And that's it for installation. In terms of adjustments, it's also pretty simple. You've got the first one here, this is a tab. And what that does is it controls how high or how low this thing kind of goes, you know, um, and, and that's that, that's that adjustment. And then the rest of it you can do without any kind of tightener. Uh, the first one is gonna be the height of it, which you can just do by hand, and you do it by resting your hand, and you just anchor your hand here and you push it up and down. And then the next is going to be a pivot of the actual headrest that you can monitor here, or that you can do here. Now, the beauty of this is that you can adjust even the one that's tightened by this, you can adjust everything by hand. And as of right now, I've used it for about a week and a half now, nothing has loosened up. So remember how this is supposed to control the entire, I don't even know how you explain it, but it's supposed to control that. Well, look, I can do it very easily like this. And, and then I can adjust it here, like you're supposed to be able to do with your hand and then the height with your hands as well. And, the, and again, the beauty of it is that sometimes you want this to give you neck support. So you want that mesh to come into that pivot of your neck here, but sometimes you just want it to hold your head. And that is one of the great things about this because you can just adjust it while you're sitting down. You never ever have to get up or readjust it. And let's say some things do start getting loose. Well, you can pop out these little plastic tabs. I just cut my nails, so I don't have any nails but they're really easy to pop out. And then again, you take that, the Allen key that they give you, and then you can just tighten it from there to give yourself a little bit more um, uh, tension so that you know it's not as loose if it does get loose over time. Um, that's it, <laughs> that's really it. Like I love the fact that you can adjust it very quickly on the fly while you're sitting down. You don't have to, I was really worried because this tab here, I thought that it was gonna make it so stiff that I couldn't maneuver by hand, but that's not the case at all. And Here's the reason why I actually really love it. It went from, oh, I like it a lot, to loving it. And it's because of how you use it with headphones. You see, <clears throat> I listen to my headphones quite a bit, and if I have these on, I'll go ahead and sit down, and I'll show you guys. But you can see here that if I have, sorry, I just adjusted it so I don't know. So it's it, right here, remember this, this is what I was talking about, that you can have it kind of sit in your neck. So this is neck support. But the thing is, if you have headphones on and you try to put your head back with the neck support on, you the headphones will bang into the sides of it because it is curved. It's not flat like some other headrests. And because of that, this is very uncomfortable. You can't even put your head back and it's extremely frustrating. If you try to turn your head, you'll bang into your headphones. This is the beauty of it. Because you can adjust it by hand, what you can do is you can go ahead and just maneuver the whole thing back and now you're totally free and you can move your head. Well. There's that option, or you can put this thing at its highest setting and just kind of have it catch your head so that 
your headphones, they will catch like this, but at least your head is far back in such a way that your head is supported and it's very comfortable. And again, because this these grips are at a very perfect tension, at least for me, you don't fly back. Like, I can bang on it and I'm not flying back. It's not like it's moving backwards. It's very nicely supporting my head. And yeah, I just, I just love it. And it's gotten to be this thing that I really rely upon, especially because I have monitors that are anchored or that are positioned a little higher. So if I'm looking at those monitors, especially, I want that support for my neck. But if I'm looking straight on at something, well, I don't need neck support. At that point, I kind of want my head support. So at that point, I can go ahead and just adjust this really quickly so that it's more at my head as opposed to at my neck. And yeah, I really like it. I highly recommend it. It is expensive. And also one other con, it's kind of a con to consider. In my previous video, I was showing you guys how you guys can pick up a cheap chair. Let me take these off, I feel a little ridiculous. I was teaching you guys how to pick up a cheap chair and a lot of those chairs are not the remastered chairs. But these things were made for the remasters. And because of that, you guys can see, you guys probably noticed it already, that the color is different. This is much, much whiter, and this is darker gray, and so the color wear doesn't match. So if that bothers you, then and you've got an old chair and it's gray, well, then that might be a deal breaker for you. But the good thing about it, though, is that the pellicle, right, or the, the mesh kind of material here, they are near identical, so you won't be able to tell that they're different. Now, I haven't gotten to try out the graphite one, so I can't tell you how that one matches up with the old Aeron's, but Engineer Now, if you go to their website, they do have these, these headrests for the Classic, except they're all sold out. So that's the one deal breaker that I would say uh, is the only thing. If you don't like that the colors don't match up, well, for the gray, you're out of luck. For the graphite, I don't know. And so this is kind of like buy at your own risk, but I'm pretty sure they have a pretty good return policy. So make sure you guys check it out. Check out the color difference. And uh, if you don't like it, you can return it for that reason. One quick warning, this material will pull your hair out. So if you are the type who likes to, for some reason, rub your head in the back, in the headrest, uh, it will pull your hair out. Um, I don't do that with my chairs. I just did it just to test it, and yeah, it hurt. And it could be that I, you know, Asians have short, prickly hair. I don't know what would happen for all the other different hair types out there, but uh, it did for me, so keep that in mind if that's something you do. Uh, part of the way it's designed is that it's supposed to envelop your head and envelop your neck so that you don't have a ton of room to kind of shake your head all around. Uh, so yeah, you're not supposed to do that anyway, I think, with this one. So for the giveaway, guys, because this is a smaller channel, I can only ship within the continental US. And that breaks my heart because so many of you guys who showed love in the previous video were from outside the US. I wish I could do more for you guys, but to everybody who is outside the US and for those who don't win this competition, again, you guys can use honestly10 at checkout over at engineer.com for your 10% off coupon code. But if you are eligible, you're in the US, then you guys can enter the giveaway by using the link in the description below. That's gonna be it for this one, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, everyone, stay safe. And as always, stay honest.